Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. This is episode... I forget what number, honestly. Um, I believe 14, it looks like. And this is going to be... Our, we just finished up uh, Neverland. Now we're going to the end, close to the end of this game, Hollow Bastion, which is the world in where all shit hits the fan. So... We're heading there. Um, we're going to take our time in Hollow Bastion. I think I'm going to split it up into three separate parts. Um, it is a big world, and there's a lot going on. It may even be four parts, but I really want to get like the most out of the world that we possibly can. And it is, um, like, it, it's a tremendously long world. It's what everything's been building up to. There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? But... It's, yeah, it's, it's just, everything gets crazy here toward the end of this world. So it's, um, it's really a lot to unpack. We'll probably go through, we'll beat Hollow Bastion, then maybe we'll have one or two grinding episodes, and then we'll have our maybe two-part series finale here. Those will be like the big hard hitters of this game, but, um... You know, that's going to be the biggest part here, is the finale. Sorry, I'm, I'm really running low on steam. I'm, I'm tired tonight. It, it's been a long night, and like I said, I'm trying to stay, like, at least a week ahead of schedule when making these. Which seems e easy in concept, but um, it's a lot harder from, like, a practical standpoint of making these, like just to find the time to do that because it means i have to i'm either streaming or doing these voice recordings each day for an hour a day at a time so you know it's it is um it is a shitload of work i'll give it that but at the end of the day we are finishing up the series here strong and here we can see an old woman telling a young Kyrie this story about the worlds being scattered why they're still divided from one another except one time they were all interconnected which you could see but I'll never play that game because um, it was a, a mobile game <laughs> so we won't get the opportunity to play that one from the standpoint of when the worlds were still all interconnected but it, it is an interesting premise that, like, they only split apart once all this darkness shit started to happen. And it was all caused by one guy. But there's young Kyrie. And Sora's floating over her in ghost format. Because I guess he was there when she was a young child. I. That doesn't make sense, but alright. I mean, it does in the grand scheme of things, but. Huh? Now Sora's back to being a, a global happy little boy. Uh, nothing. It's like I'm nothing. I just had. Did you call me? And he's talking to Kyrie, somehow. But here, Sid installs the gummy block so we can now travel to Hollow Bastion. So let's travel to Hollow Bastion. Let's get that. Just kidding. We're in the second district now, I guess, for some bizarre ass reason. Don't recall what we're doing here. Looks like I'm a little preoccupied. Oh, there's a treasure chest up on the right that I want to get. Hopefully I move sometime soon and actually get it. Let's go, Average Joe. Let's fucking move, bro. <laughs> Maybe that helped him. Um, no, I think, uh, this whole episode, to be brutally honest, like, when I was recording the gameplay for this, I had, I, I was muted on stream, um, I was on the telephone with somebody, and it was just kind of like, alright, I don't know, there's not a whole lot going on, we're just going to get that chest, so, what does it matter? You know, it wasn't like there was a shitload going on. And I kept a lot of extra stuff in the episode because, like I said, if I want to split this up into three parts, and maybe even four, strategically I have to 
you know, do shorter episodes that are a little bit more packed full of content, but this first one, because I, I didn't know that was the plan, obviously is a little lacking in just overall what it covers, but you know, at the end of the day, that's not such a bad thing. I like not covering like a ton right away. If anything, it makes things more fun and interesting moving forward. Like, you know, things could just consistently change. I think about going and synthesizing with that mithril, but I highly doubt mithril was the item I was missing on any of those other items, so I just decide, hey to hell with that. Let's go to Hollow Bastion. Let's go and do it. So I skip right past this. I'm not sure if there's any new games available. Um, I highly doubt it. There might be, but... I think, if anything, we're better off to wait until after Hollow Bastion anyways. You can see there. there's my beautiful ship that I sold all the stock parts to get shitty-ass high potions and shit. <laughs> so I can't really tank any hits whatsoever. And I just have to bank that, like, my Star Fox skills from back in the day are somewhat decent. Because that's really all these gummy ship segments are. But here you can see it gets extravagantly a lot more complex from what I showed in the previous episodes. I think I've been cutting a lot of these out, but little by little they have worked their way up to this where you just constantly have to press down the fire button and hope that you don't hit shit. Especially when you sold all of the spare uh, parts and defenses like I did previously. Instead of upgrading the ship, you just sold all that shit for extra money and items. Um, yeah. You kind of just end up screwing yourself, so take note of that. Because that's 100% what I did. I just screwed myself big time. <laughs> Is all that happened. Because <laughs> in these later worlds, it means I can't tank any hits, like, at all. Like, I get hit twice and my health is at the halfway mark. I think I've only taken one hit so far through this and you can see my health is already pretty shaky like it's it's not good if anybody comes actually firing anything i'm gonna be in big trouble so yeah don't do that don't make that mistake that average joe made because it's a dumb one like it's just stupid dumb dumb nonsense that you can easily avoid because now I have to avoid everybody and not get any extra items while I'm out here. And those guys flying by definitely don't look like they're about to turn around and assault me in any way whatsoever. I actually don't think they do, but uh, like I said, if they did, like I'd be completely and entirely screwed. And you'll see why that becomes such a big deal here in a moment. Um, we're going to run into one ship that has like devastating effects on us. Ah, I guess not. No, we're not. We're just gonna end up at Hollow Bastion. Never mind. I'm an incredible source, I guess. But here is the beginning of Hollow Bastion. Um, Hollow Bastion's a cool ass world. It is definitively my favorite world in this game. I mean, that, that's such an easy statement to make. It's. Yeah, it's the world where all the shit happens, so of course it's my favorite, right? Like, why wouldn't it be anybody's favorite playing through this game? It's where everything happens in the game. <laughs> like, all the context is right here. Everything the game's been building up to, we're about to jump into it. Now, with that being said, I do want to take my time getting to the next area we're about to get to. You can see here I'm double saving because this is where my game as a child failed. Right? My save stopped working, my uh, memory card in my PlayStation 2 died out right here, and um, I, like I said, I, I, I never came back to the game. I, I came back to the game when I was like 17 years old. So I played it originally when I was like 8 or 9, and then beat it 17, 18, somewhere in that ballpark. And um, yeah, it's just... You know, it was a monumental moment, I think that's why the game means a lot to me. Is it, it took me so long to beat it, like, to actually get to the ending that I wanted to get to. That it holds a special place. But I think if we try to progress, I I'm trying to progress here slowly, because 
something pretty monumental happens here. So, like, this whole game, building up to this point, we've been able to just smash the button to just beat people to death, pretty much, right? Like, we could use magic, but for the most part, we've just been able to swing our keyblade and just beat people to death. That's, that's been the go-to plan since day one. You know, make our combo stronger. Make sure we have enough AP to pull off some pretty incredible moves. And that, that's been it. That's really been, like, the strategic plan. Because that's really all you need in this first game. Like, there's not a whole ton to the combat. It's not overly complex. Especially if you're at a high level like myself. But then we get this no little vessel, piece here. No help from the Heartless. So tell me, how'd you get here? Hmm. It's a beast. Uh, I simply believed. Just, I don't know, floated it. through fucking space to get here. Darkness, Bell was taken from me. He I wants Bell back. I would find her again, no matter what the Which is understandable. I believed I would find her. So here I am. She must be here. And Riku. Have her back. Take her if you can. Is it looking for a way to beat Beast? Which we all know he should just get his ass slammed right here. But Riku dodges out of the way. And then attacks him with his sword. And knocks Beast down. I stop in here. I'm like, hey, you finally we doing? About time. I've been waiting for you. Okay, Riku, We've you punk. Been rivals, haven't we? You've always pushed me, as I've always pushed you. Riku! But it all ends here. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. What, are you what is he talking about? about? Let the exactly, Keyblade right? Choose. It's true. Will the Keyblade choose? It's true, Master? Uh. And you can see Riku gets the Keyblade. <laughs> Maleficent was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. Oh shit. But that's impossible. How did this happen? I'm the one who fought my way here with the Keyblade. You were just the delivery boy. I was just the delivery Sorry. boy. Your part's over now. He says, my part's over now. Here, go play hero with this. He throws me a wooden sword. At least I got my friends, though. What the fuck? No, their mission is to follow the key. So they go with Riku. I'm here with Beast, I guess. Guess I'll just live with Beast for the rest of my time. Hey, don't move. You're hurt. Why? Why did you you come here? Pretty much the same reason as you, buddy. To fight for Bell. I also came to fight for a woman. On my own, I will fight. I won't leave without her. That's why I'm here. Okay. Let me pick up this wooden sword and help you out, beast. I'm sure it's gonna do a lot of valuable damage. <laughs> Side note, it does none. I can no longer do physical damage to any of the enemies I come across. I came here to find someone very important to me. Which is really gonna suck moving forward. Because we have a lot of hard battles coming up. And I can't deal physical damage to shit. And while I'm down here, because this world is, like, notorious, you don't want to return here. Um, I might as well get some of these chests out of the way. You know, see what they have. Plus, I'm going to need a lot of healing items. 
Because, like I said, I can't fucking deal physical damage to anything for the remainder of... until I get my Keyblade back, which... I, I don't... Who the fuck knows how long that'll be? I mean, if you ever played through this game, you know how long that'll be, but... If it ever fucking happens, um... Yeah, it's... It sucks. It sucks. That I can't deal any physical damage, because there's plenty of Heartless. But now that we're back up here, like I said, I just went through there and searched up, um... I, I just went and pretty much got a lot of the... The chests that were hidden down there. I just don't like to return to this world. Post game. Um, it's, like I said, it's, it's cool the first time around because there's a lot of cool stuff going on, but this world's like a puzzle. It's very difficult to, uh, like, progress fully. So here we get to see, now we're at the top here. You can see here's some Heartless. Let me show you what value the sword holds. This wooden sword that I got. Fortunately, Beast is a fucking tank. <laughs> and just annihilates everything in his path. But you can see there, I'm not doing any damage to this little Heartless, which means against like actual bad guys, I'm gonna do nothing. Um, magic is still a viable option. But I only have so many MP points, so that's not really going to help. But luckily for me, like I said, I got fucking Beast. And Beast is an aggressive son of a bitch. I tried doing my special combo to see if that'll do anything, but it, it doesn't. Um, yeah, like I said, it, it just sucks being stuck without a weapon that actually does damage. I think it's not good, but the gates are shut. We have to go check the base level first. Um, and that's really, like, I'm gonna start doing the outro now because I can do a couple fights down here, but the base level is very perplexingly difficult. So I want to get down there and save as soon as humanly possible and all that stuff and just save this for the next day. Because like I said, I was fucking on the phone while I was playing through a lot of this, so I can't even tell you what we accomplished. I think I just kind of surveyed the base level because I forget how that's all laid out. But I really hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, or even consider subscribing because all that stuff is free and very helpful for motivation moving forward for the channel. Um, you know, it's always greatly appreciated and, you know, any comments or anything like that, I always take the time to go out of my way and respond to them and just keep everybody up to date and say, what's up? Uh, if you didn't like the episode, just leave a comment down below saying, hey, go fuck yourself, Joe. And uh, I'll respond to that as well. Um, I'll probably try to do so in a positive manner. But I'll respond. So that's the important part. But until the next one, guys, everybody out there, take it easy. Like I said, I am trying to stay ahead of schedule because I do have like a, a mini vacation planned here at the end or at the beginning of April. So I don't know. Maybe I'll post a picture or two of myself. Um, while I'm on vacation, but maybe not, you know, maybe I'll just post some scenic views or some shit like that, but until the next one, guys, everybody out there, take it easy, I hope you all are having a terrific week, and continue to have a terrific week, and, uh, we'll see you all here on the next one.